Hey there YouTube, this is Chris and welcome back again. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to start my installation on my S500 turbo on this truck. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to take out my passenger side battery here, going to take out the battery tray, take off my intake, and see how much room I'm left to work with. Uh, I can see there's a decent hole down here where I might be able to sneak a downpipe through. So if I can get the turbo right about here maybe, it might work fairly well. Uh, I've got the exhaust housing sitting in the back seat, so as soon as I get that, all these taken out, I'll get that out and start mocking that thing up to see where I can start putting it. Um, I may have to reroute my uh, intake, or the charge pipe off of this pipe there. You can see the, the uh, cast iron elbow I've got on this, or the cast aluminum elbow I got on this thing. That or I might have to rotate it around a little bit more. I've probably got six inches or so I can move that thing around. There's, you can see quite the gap over here too, uh, right underneath there, between the uh, housing and stuff. So uh, I'm going to start taking this stuff off and I'll be back once I get everything taken off and we can figure out where to go from there. Hey guys, I'm back up with, with an update here. Um, not out in the driveway, not working on the truck. I've got my spare 5.9 here. I threw the 6.7 head I had laying around uh, from my conversion. Threw the 6.7 valve cover on it and everything. And uh, took my turbo off. Put it up here. Uh, I'm using this as a mock-up pretty much to mock everything up to that turbo instead of having to hold it while hunched over in the truck and all that other stuff. So instead of screwing around with it that way. Uh, this is how I am setting it up. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm kind of busy with school and other things. And uh, I started making the mount I've got here. Uh, I, I am going to put them side by side up front. Uh, I thought about maybe putting it back here underneath this turbo. Uh, just seemed like more of a hassle. Plus, I spent all that money on that turbo. So why not let everybody see that thing? Uh, this is just pretty much what I've got. I've got two pieces of a quarter-inch... Uh, uh, mild steel right here uh, bolted into the side of the block this bolt right here is where the ground goes on the uh, or from the battery uh, just used a one and a quarter inch tube here bought a Harbor Freight bender just put this 30 degree bend in it didn't bend the best but it does work and then I went to the discount or the steel local steel place and I bought this which is a nice tight fit over the top of it so when I got it in the truck I can mock everything up I've got to cut it at a 10 degree slant here because that's kind of the offset I put on it I want to put the turbo farther forward the more forward I put it the easier it's going to be to run a compression tube up to the intake of this thing plus it's just going to get it a little bit further away from this turbo just kind of moving heat away from it. Uh, I kind of want to move heat away from this just because this is the final compression. It's going to uh, uh, compound the boost which is going to add even more heat into it. So the more heat I can get away from it the better. Uh, I've seen guys put them under here putting the uh, outlet of the turbo closer to the intake manifold or the exhaust manifold, excuse me, I didn't want to do it that way, uh, just for thermal efficiency. Uh, so I've got to come out here, it clears the hood, but just barely. Uh, we'll see if I can either do a 45, I may have to do a straight 90 right out of there, just to get it, knock it down and then get to the intercooler. Uh, we'll see. Um, these are the plates I've got made. Uh, this is the... Uh, uh, the engine side one, this will be the turbo side one. I bought a turbo flange that didn't have one of these on here. So I've got to mount this on it. And uh, hopefully that works out well. Hopefully the vibration and everything doesn't knock it out. Um, they're going to mount like this. And they're gonna, uh, I'm going to weld one of them right, this top one here, right to the exhaust uh, housing, the T6 housing, or the T6 flange. Uh, hopefully it's thick enough it won't crack or anything, but with this one behind it supporting it and with the with having three bolts in it and that mount being as big as it is, I think I won't have a problem. Everybody I'm back. Well, here's the contraption I've came up with now. Uh, this is where my T6 is going to mount um, for my S500. 
And uh, I've, I've got this sleeve here. I'm going to go mount it out on the truck and see how far forward I can pull it. I think I can get it about to here, which will clear that S400 perfectly well. And uh, once I get that done and all mocked up, I'll uh, come back in here and tack weld it and see how she looks. And we'll start finish welding if everything's good and start building a hot side piping and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, looks like I'll just need a U-bend and a 90 which I got sitting down here. It's a three and a half inch pipe going into this T6 flange. Uh, I bought the thing with a uh, as a uh, uh, adapter right there so yeah, everything should go fine. Uh, I'll get back to you once I got everything put together and uh, we'll see what happens when she's tacked up. Alright, here's the turbo mounted in the truck actually. Uh, the mount looks to be doing pretty good. Uh, I've got to finish weld it and everything. I've just got it mostly strongly tacked together. And the uh, secondary turbo is out of here so uh, you can see everything that's going to go on. Uh, I should be able to get the hot side done here pretty soon. Uh, I'm still a little worried about the downpipe. Uh, once I get the uh, one that's in here out and get the hot side pipe for up to this thing made. Uh, we should uh, know more about uh, how the down pipe's gonna fit. I wanna run a five inch. I've got a five inch on here, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, doesn't leave me a whole lot of room for filter space here, but uh, kinda is what it is, so I'm just gonna have to run a small one or see if I can get a tight radius six inch bend and go down here and then run a big filter down here maybe cut some of this plastic out so I can get some more fresh air uh, we'll see about that other than that that may wrap up this video for now um, I really don't have much else I can do right now uh, since I've got class and everything it's uh, it kind of uh, limits my time on this sort of stuff so uh, uh, bear with me. I'll uh, try to get this one banged out pretty quick, or as fast as I can at least. And uh, I see I've got a subscriber now. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if anybody else likes this, uh, don't be afraid to ask any questions and uh, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.